the search for the two missing canoeists in the Boundary Waters is now over. Now, today, authorities located the second missing canoeist, their body, Reese Grams, and bringing closure to the families after more than two weeks now. As we reported, the two canoeists went missing May 19th after going over Curtin Falls on Iron Lake. And just last week, rescue crews found the body of 41-year-old Jesse Haugen. This morning, crews located the body of Reese Grams just west of Curtin Falls in the BWCA. Northern News Now's Madison Green spoke with Reese's wife, Angie, who shares how much her husband loves the Boundary Waters and how memories of their time there as a family brings her comfort. He loves it. I mean, it is, it's his favorite place to go. He really, truly, I don't even have words to describe how much he loves it up there. Reese Grams has been going to the Boundary Waters since he was seven years old. He has since shared that love with his wife, Angie, and their two sons, who are 8 and 10. So I was allowed to bring a few more comforts than he would have liked, so the packs got a little heavy. But our last trip last summer, he was portaging with the canoe on and a pack on the front and a pack on his back, and just, he had it. He was dialed in. He didn't care. He was so happy. But Angie and the boys did not join Reese on his most recent trip, when Reese's canoe went over Curtin Falls. As the more than two week long search for Reese comes to an end, Angie and her family will finally make the trip back up. The decision that was made as a family was that we would only go up there as if we were gonna bring dad home. Despite feeling in the dark, Angie has found a light in everyone involved in the search efforts. I can't wait to meet all of these people and shake all of their hands. They are amazing. They are one in a million type of group and I'm just in awe of all of them. Honestly, it's amazing. In the Boundary Waters, Madison Green, Northern News Now. Yeah, just devastating for those families. Now, authorities flew Graham's body to Ely by seaplane today. And we have the GoFundMe link to support the families of both Reese Graham's and Jesse Haugen right now on our website.